Hey guys, I'm gonna show you some triangle stuff that you learned before spring break. I'm just gonna review. Here's a random triangle. If I add this angle measurement plus this angle measurement plus this angle measurement, what do I get? Mm, hopefully you remember 180. So this angle is 90 degrees. You know that because this little symbol right here means 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna say this angle is 45 and this angle is X. Solve for X. Well, I know that 90 plus 45 plus X equals 180. I know that. There is no question about it. So X has to be 45 because 45 plus 45 is 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180. So X equals 45 degrees. Okay, now I'm gonna do something else. Let me erase here and I'm going to draw some another angle here we are this oops that's not what I meant to do this angle and this angle. See how they're directly across from each other? Those are called vertical angles. Vertical angles. And they, all, they are always, always, always congruent. Congruent means same. So if this one is 45 degrees, then this one is 45 degrees. We know that. So let's say I tell you this angle is 70 degrees and I call this angle here Y. And I say, solve for y. Well, if this angle were, let's, let me erase. Let me pretend like you didn't have this one. If this is 45, then I know this one is 45. And this one is 70. So I just add 70 plus 45 plus Y equals 180. And that's all you have to do, solve for Y, and that's your answer. All right, I'm gonna do that again. Let's see here. Here's a triangle. And when I add this angle plus this angle plus this angle, it's 180. Now, if I were to move on like this and make another triangle, I'm making these numbers up. Let's say 
this angle here is 55 degrees. Then what is this angle right here? This angle right here is 55 degrees because it's a vertical angle. Same thing if I'm to go up here, whatever this angle measures here, oops, whatever this angle measures, this is the same. And I can go over here, Whatever this angle measures here, this one is the same. So sometimes you just have to be able to use your mathematic thought, use your skills to figure out what something measures. Let's go, let's see. This is 90 and let's say, um, I don't know, at, ah, back up. Let's say X and 60. So I know 90 plus 60 plus X equals 180. So X equals 30 degrees. Now, what if I were to have something else? What if it looked like this? Oops, that's... Messed up on my line. What if it were to look like this? Ah. Here we are. Mm. I'm trying really hard to make a straight line and it's hard to do. Okay, there we are, there's a straight line. Okay, well, what, what is the measurement of this angle here? Hopefully you know that this angle here measures 30 degrees because it's a vertical angle and we already said that X was 30. So X is 30. Now let's say, um, I don't know, let's say this is 90 and this is Y. Well, this is a straight line and we know straight lines are 180. So if this is 90 and this is 30, what's this? 90 plus 30 plus Y equals 180. All right, you should be able to do that math on your own. And sometimes, Instead of saying why, you're gonna have to actually solve some math. It'll say, um, let's see, 27. Um, I don't know, let's say three Y plus four, solve for Y. So it would be, 90 plus 30 plus 3y plus 4 equals 180. And you'd have to solve that math out. 
Now, don't actually solve that math right now because I made it all up and I don't even know if it'll work, but that's how it works. Everyone in this class should be able to do this stuff. We've been working on math and algebra for months and months now, and now you have a worksheet to do that Mr. Hickson is going to give you. 